Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's my DC here. So today I'm going to make this small DC to DC adjustable voltage regulator with LM317 chip. Let's slowly increase the voltage. You need one LM317 linear voltage regulator, 10k potentiometer, 220 ohm resistance, one microfarad 50 volt electrolytic capacitor, 104 ceramic capacitor, it's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and a piece of zero PCB. So it's your circuit diagram and it's your input positive and input negative. It's a common ground so output negative is same and it's your output positive. You can skip this capacitors but better to have it. So let's start the build. First I am going to make the circuit without this PCB cause it's easy to explain without that PCB and don't forget to attach a heatsink cause this regulator is going to heat up too much solder this resistance between pin number 1 and 2 this potentiometer with uh, pin number 1 and connect the positive of this electrolytic capacitor with the pin number 2 and the ceramic capacitor with the pin number 3 and the negative of the capacitor and a piece of wire with the negative of the capacitor and the other point of the potentiometer I mean the middle point of the potentiometer your circuit is ready so let's connect the input and output wires this capacitor's negative is the common ground I mean the common negative for input and output so solder two wires on the point it's our input and output negative the pin number 3 is the input positive and this pin number 2 is output positive let's check everything working or not so it's a 12 volt laptop charger and you can power it up with transformers the maximum input voltage is 37 volt and you can get output around 1.5 volt to 35 volts so it's our output connections as i mentioned before
let's turn on the power supply and it's the minimum you can get with this chip let's slowly increase the voltage and it's the maximum you can get with the 12 volt power supply cause there was a bit of loss and you can use up to 37 volt power supply you can use transformers or switch mode power supply whatever you want so it's working fine Now I'm going to assemble it in this zero PCB. So the circuit is complete in this zero PCB and as you can see it's very small and simple. In my next power supply video I'm going to make a lab bench power supply with current adjuster and current boosting feature. So keep visit to my channel for more updates and do like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.